so I wanted to make a Jeep build in the winter, not a Jeep repair in the winter. This thing's been giving me nothing but problems lately. Leaking transmission fluid. What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Before this video starts and you guys watch more of it, be sure to smash that like button below because it really helps grow the channel. And if you guys aren't following me already, follow me on Instagram below and make sure you guys click the post notification so you guys are notified when I upload because sometimes a lot of people upload people don't see my uploads so that's pretty much it this video chest day walking you guys through building my bench press my chest tricep day and I've also went down to Camp Shelby Mississippi did some Blackhawk helicopter NVG training to sling load shit to, uh, so when you guys see helicopters pick up stuff and carry it that's what I was training on so I didn't get the footage that I really wanted to I did bring my GoPro with me um, a lot of things ended up happening um, there ended up being a wildfire on base so the night, uh, the daytime ops of us um, hooking stuff up to helicopter, that got squashed. We ended up doing everything at night and made my GoPro useless. I did wear my GoPro just in case and try and mess with the settings so I could capture some stuff at night, but it ended up being pretty garbage. So I didn't get to do anything on anything in the day. So the only thing I got to do was stuff in the night. And that was videos I recorded to, through an iPhone, through night vision devices. So. Don't have a lot of content as far as the Blackhawk training, but it was pretty cool. Got to stand like a foot below a Blackhawk helicopter and hook stuff up to it for them to carry her. Pretty cool experience. I love doing stuff like that. So I hope you guys sit back and enjoy the video. I'm trying to upload every week. I do need video suggestions. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see another military react video? Do you guys want to see more workout videos? Whatever it shall be. I do have a lot of things coming up this year. I do. I plan on building my Type R modding it, going to tracks and races and bringing it through the mountains, a lot of car videos. Next, uh, in the fall, we're gonna have a lot of Jeep videos because we're gonna build the Jeep and uh, dealing with a lot of personal stuff in my personal life and the military right now. So doing what I can, but if you guys can help me in any way, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, hit that post notification, sit back and enjoy the video. It's a special day. Well, it might be a special day. So. My friend gave me this pre-workout called Venom, and it has a, stim a neural stimulant that was 10 times powerful than caffeine. I've talked about this in my numerous videos where like I've taken pre-workouts before and it's made me really sad. So this is one of them. A lot of pre-workouts don't choose to um, create supplements with this ingredient in it um, because of the legality issues behind it. Some people like the FDA don't think it's just like a natural occurring substance and all that kind of shit. So this was like the OG, like. Uh, ingredient that was in the thing. If you guys don't know what it is, it's called 1,3-dimethylamine or DMAA. So if you want to Google that stuff and look into it. But he's giving me this, and like I said, the last time I took this, so I took it about three, four times. Um, I had um, Mesomorph from, off of eBay, and it was a... First time I took it, I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. Second time I took it, I was super focused, super alert, super euphoric, and like... PRs, like my strength, my stamina, like I literally thought like I would never burn out, like I could just keep fucking lifting. Like I was lifting back that one day and I was like, oh, I can just keep doing rows and stuff like this for like 80 reps. Um, so now, uh, fast forward the third time when I was in Japan, I took it and I didn't take it every day because I knew it was a very strong formula, um, like especially on your central nervous system and all that stuff. So I, I didn't take it like every day, like some people I knew did. Um, just cause like it, it's super strong and it's got some side effects like as far as like your mental health. So I took it the third time, I went to the gym, I had like an okay workout. I was like, all right, this ain't like super cool. And uh, towards the end I was getting euphoric kinda cause I was getting my lifts back. Like it took me a while to warm up and progress and stuff. So I finally was lifting and then leaving the gym, I was all euphoric and happy cause that's what that uh, supplement does to you. It's just like a very powerful neural stimulant that like enhances uh, uh, Reese's endorphins and dopamine in your brain and stuff. So you're just happy. I'm walking through the parking lot, like going to get a haircut. I'm like super happy. I'm getting a haircut. I was like, this is great. Like I love haircuts. And then I'm like getting back to my room. I get chilies and I sit in my room. I meet my chilies. I get in the shower. And as soon as I like turn off the shower, it was literally like I just got hit with like a rain of depression like I kid you not I got so depressed and sad and that's like one of the things about that supplement is like you take it and like you could either be like oh just wean off like I, first time I took it, I got super tired and then the second time I don't know third time I just got really tired and really depressed like I swear to god I got sad as fuck I had no reason to be depressed and I, I it was just like I got depressed for like the rest of the weekend I was depressed and I was like wow so I didn't take it since then 
So we're taking it again, a different for, uh, company and formula. It doesn't even tell like it's in here, it looks clear, but one scoop of that, and I actually have, my friend gave me uh, some pump pills right here. We're gonna take those because I ran out of uh, endo pump. You guys don't know, no, I'm not sponsored. One day, hopefully I will, because this company is amazing. And, um, but, what was I saying? Most of my supplements come from Bear Performance Nutrition. Um, like I said, I have the shaker cup from them that I just got. It was like four ninety nine. dollars I had a gift card. So the shaker cup, I take BCAAs from them. I take their pre-workout. I take their protein. So I'm going to make a protein shake after the gym. But it's honestly, I woke up an hour ago. And usually what I try to do when I wake up is I wake up in the morning. I go downstairs. I get my pre-workout. I mix it. I walk back upstairs. I take a crap. I come back. Then I drink my pre-workout. I make my bed. I change my clothes, and I get to the gym. So I leave myself a half hour to get to the gym. But I usually never can do it in half hour because like I'm the type of person that I sit on the toilet until my feet fall asleep. But um, we're actually going to go to a different gym today. I, even though I think I've only recorded once or twice in the other gym, um, this gym is a joint base, so it's pretty big. So it's got three gyms on it. So we're going to go to the second gym today. Hopefully it's not too crowded because, like I said, I want to film, uh, record a chest workout. And then this weekend, my friend Logan from Yokota in Tokyo that I was working with, he's coming here for training for a week. So he's going to drive my Type R for the first time. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how he likes that because he has a Sylvia S15. And Japan's all about fucking race cars there. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit this chest workout. Hopefully I hit some PRs because the other day I was doing sets of like 265. And I think my PR is 280. If I can get up to 285, even 290, that'd be insane. I'm definitely going to ask for a spotter. But I'm ranting. It's four minutes. Let's get to the gym. Let's hit this freaking workout. But I don't know what's going to happen. But let's go. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the voiceover of the video. Um, so today I'm actually changing the scenery up a little bit. You guys have not seen this gym It's on my channel since um, if you guys don't know I'm stationed at McGuire Air Force Base in New Jersey It is a joint base shared by the Air Force the Navy the Army the Marines and the Coast Guard all five or four branches because the Coast Guard's Department of um, Not a Department of Defense Department of Homeland Security. We're all here a lot of training schools here and stuff So there's three gyms on base uh, the main gym I go to is McGuire Gym that you guys will see mostly in the videos. And this is a very small gym. I didn't think it was this small until I came here. So basically this gym is a huge, like kind of looks like an old hangar. I think that's what it was. And you guys can see there's a, actually a full track around the gym. There is a basketball court. And there's this little area for weights. I didn't think it was this small. So when I came to come here for the first time and record, I was kind of taken back from the point of how small it was. And I was like, shit, because... You guys don't know, like I talked about it before I started this voiceover, is that like, I have such like bad like anxiety when it comes to being out in public, like socially, like situations that I'm new to and I'm not used to, they scare me kind of. Not to the point where I'm like I don't want to do them, but like that because like it's weird. Like I just feel like I'm judged and I'm like I'm embarrassed a little bit, but that's just something I have to get over because if I want to make this channel succeed, I have to record in public, I have to talk to the camera, I have to put the camera in places. But I'm starting to fucking realize that over time, like who gives a shit what people think. 2018 was a year that I wanted to do shit but a lot like I sometimes I want to film in the gym and then I bring my camera there and I'm not gonna lie it's just so busy and shit that I'm like I don't want to put this camera in front of people I don't want people to see it but I just don't give a fuck 2019 is the I don't give a shit thing because who cares what people are gonna think how is that gonna change their shit but as you guys can see I'm working on benching right now props to this camouflage hoodie right now I don't know if you guys can see me in the video but this is from Bear Performance Nutrition. They're supplements I use a lot. It's, I'm not sponsored by them, but I like talking about things that I like. If I like a product, I'm going to talk about it, and their hoodies are fucking great. But I'm working, um, I believe I'm working with, uh, let me see, 225, 35, 45, 50, 55. I'm working with 260 here as my top set. I'm trying to build strength. I'm trying to, like, right now, I believe my PR is about 290 on bench. And if I can hit, you know, fucking... 300 maybe 315 the next two months because i'm bulking for two more months then i have to start cutting and cutting i'm gonna get like the best shape that i've ever been in but so i do three sets of three reps of 260 or 265 just to build my strength and then i usually burn out as you guys can see you're watching right now 225 um 225 i usually burn out and like it's crazy to see how much i've progressed because 
back in the day when I was in Japan, 225 was like a milestone, and that's a milestone for everybody's bench is 225. But when I end my sets now, 225 feels like 135 with like 145 on each side, and I try and like get a, more reps each time. So I think I got 10 or 11 reps there. Next week I try and get 12 or 13 reps. But it's crazy how you can move the weight so quickly as your strength progresses, and it's crazy to see your body progress and your strength just skyrocket when you got a proper programming and the way I'm my split is right now so Monday I'm doing chest and triceps um, heavy for bench and stuff so like low reps so like three uh, three reps three sets just to build my strength and then um, Tuesday back and biceps a lot of reps there Wednesday shoulders and legs Thursday is a rest day because you got to let your body rest Friday is another chest day to build my bench up again Saturday is a back day I'm actually gonna start incorporating deadlifts because I'm not gonna lie I haven't deadlifted at all in the past I don't remember I think the last time I deadlifted was in Japan. There's only one deadlift platform at the main base here, but this gym has one deadlift platform, but this gym is pretty much empty, so I might do that this weekend. Get back into it. Sunday is a rest day, and then I repeat the cycle. I usually, like, I don't really have a set program. I kind of go in there, and I just wing it, because that keeps my body from getting used to things, and it keeps me mentally, like, if I have a set program, it kind of, it gets, like, stale. It gets boring after a while, so I kind of just, like, go into the gym. I'm definitely going to bench first. I always try and bench first, because that's, like, the you always want to do your hardest exercise first followed by all the accessory movements after um but th when i go at it like that it keeps me having fun keeping like you know if i'm doing uh, i'm gonna do bench and i'm gonna do flat bench or incline bench after and then dumbbell bench like i'm doing it's repetitions it's repetitive i'm doing the same shit all the time and i'm not gonna enjoy it and weightlifting is something i enjoy it helps me you know not only does it build your strength your body it builds your mind helps with my anxiety everyone goes to depression at one point helps depression just puts you in a good mood and i'm actually one of those people that wakes up around four, uh, five in the morning earliest right now. Um, in Japan, I'd woke up, wake up even earlier to hit the gym. And uh, because I have PT with the military, with the Air Force after this, so I do my own workout, I burn myself out, and then I go do the military's workout because it sounds fucked up, but I care more about my workout than the military's workout because... Not to brag, but like I'm in decent shape to begin with, so the military workout just comes after me, and that's the time. The morning times for workouts are the times that nobody can fuck with you, so if you guys have a hard time finding time to go to the gym, I suggest waking up, slamming some pre-workout, getting your ass to the gym, get in that routine, because before you know it, guys, you'll fall in love with it. The morning's the time that you can just put your headphones in, nobody fucks with you, no one's going to call you, no one takes that time away from you, that's your time, because when I come back from work, I like to sit back and just fucking relax for the day, but that's that's it for the commentary. See you later. So I'm one of those people that has hella like social anxiety and like I'm a complete introvert. So when it comes to me actually wanting to like pick up a camera and film in the gym, it's a huge step out of my comfort zone. I'm always thinking like, what are people thinking about me? They're probably like, I have my headphones in and if they're with somebody, they're probably like, oh, this kid's recording. Like what an idiot or some shit like that. But all last year, I wanted to grow my channel, film more in the gym, because I know certain people, like, I haven't seen it in a while because I haven't posted, but people, like, tell me they help, uh, they like seeing my workout videos and stuff, so I'm trying to do more of that because I feel like I have a lot of knowledge to help people out and get people into the gym. So 2019, you know, people say the new year, new me, but for me this year, I'm trying to grow the channel and just start saying fuck what people think when I'm in the gym because, like, at the end of the day, it's your life. <laughs> like, how is that? How is somebody else's opinion? If I'm talking to a camera in the gym or filming in the gym, gonna affect my life, like, it's irrelevant. So I'm trying to drill that to my head, and today was a good example of that because I went to this second gym today and I haven't been to in a while. I looked it up on Google and it looked really nice. It's actually super small. It's honestly a basketball court with a track around it, and then it's like decent size area, but probably like not even a quarter size of what the other gym is like. It's so small, but there's only like eight people there. So the small gym is good. But at the same time, you were so close to people and I had the camera just trying to like set up where people wouldn't get in the way of it and wouldn't get bothered by me recording with the camera or stepping over it. So today was like, I like this gym because the equipment's pretty good. It's all like hammer strength, play loaded shit. None of that like Cybex crap that moves with you. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like those machines where you lift and the seat comes up as you do it. I feel like it just takes away from the whole thing. But, um, yeah, so more to come on filming in the gym. If you guys want to see more workouts, please comment below what you want to see. And be sure to smash the like button because it helps my anxiety and helps me um, make more content for the channel if you guys like certain things. I'm always open to suggestions, too. If you guys want to see more, like, military videos, workout videos, whatever it shall be, I try my best to put out what I'm allowed to put out. If you guys want anything in particular, please comment below. Because, like I said, we're trying to grow this channel, attract new audience and the demographics and all that. 
But uh, I'm about to call Firestone, the mechanic place on base, and tell them that I still have a transmission leak on this Jeep because, like I said, the plan for this Jeep was not to be project repair for the winter. It was supposed to be my daily car just to drive around because it's nice driving an automatic because my car, it takes a while to warm up because it's cold and it's a stick and I don't like sitting in my nice sports seats all sweaty and shit so I take the Jeep all the time. But with the transmission leak, I can't just ignore it because eventually I'll have no transmission fluid and I'll fuck the transmission up. So I'm about to call them and be like, hey, like it didn't get fixed. I'm going to leave it there, figure out what it is. I'm going to try and point out to the mechanic where it's coming from so they can diagnose it and fix it. I'm tired of dropping money into this thing because I put it all these repairs on my credit card because I like, I need to get this thing fixed. I bought this thing blindly without getting a mechanic. So there's a lesson learned. Always get your thing checked out by mechanic. But I was like, who cares? Uh, so I learned that lesson, but I'll pay it off. My credit score will be better. Uh, so I'm trying to think positive of that, not trying to think so negative of the debt I just incurred from that. But, um, yeah, hopefully it's not too expensive because yesterday they replaced the... If you got any of you guys have Jeeps, let me know. But like I said, in the winter, I plan on putting a lift kit and making this thing off-road capable and just tearing it up next fall, which should be sick. I have a picture of what it's going to look like, but I kind of want to save it. So later in the year when this thing's paid off as far as the credit card... I'm going to build the shit out of this thing, but first I need to fix the minor things, because if I don't fix the minor things, they're going to turn into the big things. Hey, what's going on? I brought my uh, Cherokee yesterday to get a transmission leak fix. I don't know if you remember me coming in. Yes. Yeah, so I parked it overnight and I put cardboard under it just to make sure, and it's still leaking from somewhere, so I need to bring it back in and figure out where this thing's coming from. I feel like it's dripping a lot for it to be, you know, just excess. I can take a look at it. I just, uh, I'd have to see if there's anything else leaking. Because when he looked at it, he said there was something else leaking and he tried to clean it the best he could. Yeah. It was up the leak. Yeah. So I can look and see, but I, um, I don't want checking for you. I don't think it is, but like I said, bring it in when you want to bring it in and we'll take a look at it. So. They're saying that it's excess transmission fluid from when they fix it, but I feel like it's dripping steadily enough overnight that it can't be excess, it's dripping from somewhere else. 